everyone uh, i am aniket and i gave cat last year and i scored 99.6 percentile in lri section and with just over 20 days to go uh, i am here to just share my experience of how i practiced for the last couple of days and what i did on the exam day which helped me to improve my score and get the best that i could so first of all when you talk about lri i believe it's more it's just about practice how much you can practice so the, the first thing that uh, is most important according to me is to know what are the different kind of sets that can come in the exam and the best way to know is to go through the previous years paper you can take up to previous 15 or 20 years paper so just get an idea of what are the different kind of questions that can be asked now one very important thing is to know that there is no particular single method to solve any set and that is what can uh, give you strength in in solving each and every cases all you have to do is you try to maximize the number of sets which you solve each and every day which you can do by attempting mocks giving sectionals attempting pre uh, questions practice questions any question just pick up a question and start solving it and most important thing is to analyze it because analysis helps you to understand not only where you have a flaw but it also you have to think that how you can improve the time how you uh, you can think from different angle you can think differently because the better you think the more you can think of a particular question the more it will help you on the important the main day so all these practice the maximum practice are going to help you in three different ways first it's going to give you confidence which is the most important thing that which you should have by solving an lrdi set in or lrdi section second it gives you an understanding of time you have to know how much time a particular set should take how much time you are giving whether is it good or not and third and uh, most importantly it helps you to think because when you analyze it and think from different angles it helps you to give a wider light a wider sense of how many possibilities are there for that and some of the important tips which i think are very important for the last few days is first of all read the sets properly it is one of the most important thing you have to read each and every line importantly make a note for example and there were some of the sets like those are multiple cases so what i used to do is i used to simultaneously make those cases it used to be an ease for me if it works for you you can do the same and one very important thing is please have a calculation check it's the last thing you want to do in an lrdi set now these are some of the things which you can do for the practice now if talking about the day so first of all which what the thing i did was to give my initial 3 to 4 minutes to analyze all the sets i believe it is very important that based on your strengths your understanding you give sets the preference you want to and then start attempting accordingly and second uh, and the most important thing is it might happen i don't want it to happen but if in case you get stuck in any of the set then please let it go please don't challenge yourself in the exam and try to solve it because it's not about challenging yourself it about getting the maximum marks please let it go and go with another set so lastly i just want to say that practice all you can get the maximum confidence you can i am sure that all of you will do your best and get into a team college thank you hello everyone i am pallav i scored 99.56 percentile in cat uh, india lr so today uh, there are two parts to this video first is the set solving and second would be the mock test strategy that you should follow so let's start with set solving like uh, whenever you're preparing for dlr the goal isn't just solving the sets uh, it's understanding the flow of each one like for any particular type of set uh, you face difficulty in i would suggest that uh, you do around 100 to 150 sets uh, at a pace of uh, 15 to 20 sets per day don't just rush through them like the key is to understand the logic like whenever you pick up a set uh, use one clue completely before moving on to the next one Uh, common mistakes that many aspirants make is to skim through all the clues and get lost so instead just to squeeze full value out of the first one and make all the possible deductions and then only move on to the next one 
like over time this uh, will help you build intuition and you start recognizing information how information flows in a set like what connects uh, where which clues give you the direction and which ones are just uh, supportive i uh, remember like dlr is more about uh, clarity of thought uh, than speed like speed comes automatically once uh, you can see the flow of uh, this uh, of the set come uh, clearly so coming to the mock test uh, part uh, like i would suggest to that you take uh, two mocks per day but uh, here's a twist like you need to define your worst case scenario basically how much uh, time you would take to solve the most difficult of sets uh, why because it would help uh, you calm down in the mock like uh, whenever the panic sets in whenever you analyzing the mocks uh, don't just uh, look at the score try solving without a timer once so this would actually show your true skill level how well you can actually solve without pressure without time pressure a common trap is wasting 4 to 5 minutes just trying to find the right set instead i would suggest to you trust your gut if you're comfortable with the story or the flow of a set you start solving it beat the first one beat the second one you don't need to find the perfect set you just need to start and ultimately dlr is less about fancy techniques and more about self belief if you believe you can crack it you'll stay calm through uh, you'll stay calm enough to find the logic i would do, tell you to remember this in dlr self belief beats skill skill it grows with practice belief gets you through the paper it will help you recover in the dlr section whenever the panic sets in and trust me it definitely will it is only a self belief in your preparation that will help you overcome that panic it's uh, it feels like a been there done that kind of thing i know how stressful it gets uh, especially in this phase of your preparation i would just say that uh, in the end it'll all be worth it bas kuch din aur hai all the best guys uh, see you on the other side hi i am vidya varma i gave cat 2024 and scored more than 99 percent time in the dil section Today I'd like to give you a few tips to be able to crack the section. First, practice. The ILR section usually requires a lot of practice. So I would recommend going through the entire syllabus comprehensively, giving a lot of mock tests. I would suggest using an online platform to give the mock tests so that you are able to gauge your level and understand how many number of sets you need to do to score a decent percent time. Second, don't depend on a calculator a calculator during the exam will eat up a lot of your time so i would instead recommend you to practice a lot of mental maths and do the calculations on your own third build a strategy while you're giving the mock tests build a strategy on your own as to how you're going to approach the dil section i would recommend sparing the first 1 to 2 minutes to go through the entire question paper and see all the sets then sparing at max 4 to 5 minutes going through a set individually if you are not able to do a set i would i would recommend that you build the practice to leave a set it is very important that you do not take more than 4 to 5 minutes and keep going through a set which you are not able to do i hope you do well in your exam all the best and thank you